Are you interested in learning about the experiments related to DNA fingerprinting and looking for an internship opportunity in this particular field? So this video is for you where I'm going to discuss about how to get an internship opportunity in CDFD Hyderabad. So if you want to go in this institute and have an internship opportunity uh, for a period of six months or eight months. So here we are going to discuss each and every details about the internship program that is available in this particular institute that is in Hyderabad, that is Center for DNA and Fingerprinting and Diagnostics. So here we are going to see about all these details. So let's get started with the video. So coming to the very first point that is we are going to see about CDFD that is one of the center that is center for DNA fingerprinting and diagnostic. If you see about DNA fingerprinting that is CDFD institute. So it is one of the autonomous institute that is under the Department of Biotechnology and governed by Ministry of Science and Technology. So this is one of the dissertation based research training institute where you can perform and you can pursue your dissertation or any of the training program. It can be any of the internship where you will get an opportunity to work in this institute for a minimum time duration of four months and it can be up to eight months. So here you can work for four to eight months. So this is the limited time duration that you have got an opportunity to work in this premier institute and you can see this is a minimum period you have to work there at least for four months so this is all about the dna or uh, fingerprinting institute that is what called as cdfd coming to the next that is elig eligibility now who all are eligible to apply for this internship or dissertation program so if you have done your msc and if you have qualified MSc if you are having M Pharma degree, M Tech during any semester or B Pharma, B Tech integrated MSc in any of the uh, life sciences field, be it uh, you can say biotechnology, botany, zoology, biochemistry. So if you are graduated in any of the life sciences degree, then you can apply for an internship in CDFD. And also you should have a first class throughout your academic career. That is your first class division is uh, considered in 10th intermediate or 12th degree and also during your bachelor's as well as master's. So if you are having a good and productive academic record, only then you will be eligible to apply for a internship in CDFG Hyderabad. So this is all about the eligibility. So you can note if you are uh, graduated, if you are having this MSc that is Masters in Science, M Pharma, M Tech or B Pharma, B Tech integrated MSc. So you are good to go and apply for this internship program. Third is you can see that is application procedure. Now what will be the application procedure? How you can apply for this program? If you see this procedure, this is an online application. So you have to apply for this internship in an online mode. So everything will be online. You have to just visit the website there. You have to open the application portal. And from there, you have to apply for this program. So you have to select the area of your interest and accordingly, you have to apply for this program. And also you need to have a bona fide certificate from your institute or university. So from where you have done your master's, your bachelor's. So from there, you have to take a bona fide certificate from your HOD stating that you will be doing an internship in CDFD Hyderabad. So this is also a must condition you should have that is a bona fide certificate. And along with that, you need to submit and upload your statement of purpose. So yes, they are asking for the statement of purpose for this program also. So you need to submit your 200 words or 1500 words. So this is a range that they have given. So you need to submit your SOP, what research ideas you are having. And accordingly, you will be selected for this uh, internship program. So on the basis of your academic record, your statement of purpose, your application will be shortlisted and you will get this opportunity to work in this institute. So this is all about the application processor, like how you have to apply. That will be an online application and you need to have a bona fide certificate certificate along with that you should submit your SOP and you should fill all your personal details while you are applying for this program. The fourth one you can see here that is program fee detail. Now this is very important to discuss okay, what should be the program fee detail, what should be the fee that you have to pay. So you can see here the fee that 
I'm going to show you that includes GST as per GOI norms. So GST and all will be included and what is the fee? So let's see the fee detail that is very important. So if you're going for this internship, you can see the duration that will be for six months. If you're considering for six months, you can see. So you have to pay for six months with accommodation that is 30,000. So in total, you have to pay for 30,000. That is 25,000. That will be a dissertation or internship fee. And 5,000 will be an accommodation charge. So you can see fee plus accommodation. So along with that, GST is also included. So you need to pay 30,000 rupees for six months. And then you will get uh, a chance to work in this institute. And if you are uh, uh, going there and if you're working in this institute and if you don't want any kind of accommodation, if you are having any relatives there, so you in that case you can pay 25,000 uh, that is for a period of six months so in total you have to pay this amount that is 25,000 and if you want the accommodation inside that campus if you want to live there so in that case you need to pay rupees 30,000 so here all these fee includes GST as per GOI norms and fee once paid will not be refunded suppose in case if you are joining the program and then you are uh, like leaving in between so again if you are paying all the fee that will not be refunded so that is a non-refundable fee and in case where the candidate joined the program in case if you are joining the program and wants to discontinue without completion of the program suppose if you are joining and if you are leaving in between because of some issue so minimum residency period of four months so you have to pay uh you can say fee at least for four months so if you are leaving in between still you have to pay a fee for four months no completion uh, certificate will be provided and in the last there will be a certificate that will be provided to you but there will be mentioned like you have not completed your project you have not completed your dissertation and that is called as no project completion certificate means in certificate it will be clearly mentioned that you left the organization in between and you discontinued Coming to the next, you can see what will be the application fee. So this is just a fee that you have to pay for working in that institute. But you need to pay an application fee while you are applying for this application. So what will be the application fee? So you, here you can see caste certificate. So once you are paying that fee, make sure you have to submit your application carefully. So if you are belonging to any of the caste, you need to pay and you need to upload your SCST certificate. And if you are a disability, PWD candidate so you have to uh, uh, submit your disability certificate or EWS certificate if applicable to you so that is issued by the competent authority and should be enclosed with an application so you need to uh, upload all these documents since this is an online application and you can see the payment mode that is online means you have to apply this form you have to apply for this application and you need to pay this online fee that is through NEFT transfer so for this you need a bank details so you can see the bank name that is statement uh, state bank of india branch name is also given you can see here ifsc code micr code type of bank account as well as complete bank account number so all these details are given here so here you have to send your 30000 rupees if you are taking accommodation if no accommodation so you can pay 25000 through this bank detail that is neft transfer nef transfer now, what will be the, uh, you can say, application while you are paying through this uh, mode, like while submitting your application. So that will be for general candidates. It should be rupees 500 for OBC. It will be rupees 250. So for SC, ST, PWD, EWS, women candidates, 125. So there is a relaxation for SC, ST, PWD, EWS, women candidates means they need to pay only rupees 125. Whereas OBC candidates, they will pay rupees 250 if you are belonging to a general category so that time you need to pay rupees 500 so this is all about the application fee that you need to pay while you're applying for this program and this is for the bank details while you have to submit your 30,000 deposit fee and 25,000 so that time you have to use this uh, bank details and you have to pay all your payment through NEF transfer coming to the next detail that is about apply link so what will be the apply link from where you have to apply for this internship program so firstly you have to use the link and you have to register for you so like for all the competitive exam we firstly register ourselves and after that we start our form filling right so here also you have to register for this so you can just visit the cdft.org.in web page and there you will find a dissertation program and if you specifically find the dissertation link if you want that so you can see this is one of the links 
from where you can directly apply for this program. So if you want to uh, know more details, so you can visit this page that is cdft.org.in. So that is a page that is a website for CDFT. But if you want to apply for this internship or dissertation, so you can see that is www.cdft.org.in. And under that, that is apps dissertation. So you are applying under this dissertation specifically. So here you will find that you, you will get one option that is apply online. So you have to click on apply online. And after that, you have to fill all your form or you have to do all your process. And ultimately, you have to submit your application by paying that fee amount that we have seen for general category, category that will be 500, 125 for relaxation and for OBC that will be 250. So this is all about the registration link and apply how you have to apply. So here is the link given. You can visit this link and apply for this internship program. Coming to the next detail, you can see here that is points to be noted. Now, what are the important points that you should note while you are applying and everything for this internship program? So incomplete application and application without the CAS disability certificate, EWS certificate are liable to be rejected. If you are submitting your application, but if your application is not completed, still you have paid the fee, but that will not be considered. How incomplete uh, application, suppose if they are asking for some of the certificate and if you are not uploading, for example, CAS certificate you have not uploaded that is blurred that is not clear you have not updated your disability certificate ews certificate you have shown that you belongs to ews category and you have paid that 125 rupees only for that application but you have to show that you belongs to the ews category or you should have that certificate that is applicable and if you are not showing all these proof ultimately your uh, application will be rejected and once you are applying there so you will be shortlisted so all the names that are shortlisted on the basis of that application will be displayed on the CDFD website. So names of selected candidates will be displayed on our website and the training starts in December. So this internship and dissertation training, it starts in the month of December. So actual dates of training will be decided based on the mutual content uh, consent between the selected candidate and the faculty. So usually it starts in December, but you have to see in which lab under which supervisor you are selected in. And accordingly, you have to talk to your supervisor, you have to talk to your guide and there will be mutual consent between the candidate and the supervisor and they will let you know from when you have to uh, start your dissertation on this program so if they are suppose saying that you have to start your dissertation after uh, 29 so after 27 so accordingly you have to join but it will be in the month of december so this is all about the information and important points that is given in their website coming to the next detail that is completion so if you are completing this uh, dissertation or internship so at last you will be given with a completion certificate that yes you have successfully completed six months of dissertation in cdft hyderabad so certificate will be issued to the candidates on completion of the term and if you are leaving in between so still you have to pay the four months fee, fee as we have seen and you will not get any certificate and if certificate will be provided so that will be a no completion certificate it means you have not completed any project ninth if you have any query if you want to know more about the details so that is a you can say mail id that is training at cdfd.org.in you can write your query you can if you want to know more about the details when this program is going to start because if you want to apply if you have interest and um, this December is going on so here we have seen the training starts in December so if you have not applied and if you wanted to apply so you can write the mail to this ID and also you have to mention in the subject line that is dissertation based research training program you have to mention that you are writing this uh, mail regarding the dissertation opportunity so that they can open and they can revert you back immediately so this is all about the mail ID and make sure that you are writing and you are mentioning this thing in your subject line so this is all about the dissertation that is present or available in cdfd hyderabad now if you want to know more about the opportunities internship program that is available in cdfd hyderabad apart from this dissertation so yes there are other internship opportunities so here you can see the number one that is a short-term training so this is a short-term training which is mainly for students doctors, investigators from private institutes or hospitals. So if you are belonging to a private institute or hospital, so you have an opportunity, you have got a chance to work uh, for this short term training and make sure students, doctors, investigator can apply if they are belonging to the private institutes and hospital. 
So you can see this internship program or short term training will be for the maximum of three weeks. And if you are belonging to a private institute only, then you can apply for this program. Make sure that you are having a good academic background because this is a you can see the seat availability is not that much. So only the selected candidates means those who are having a good academic records will be selected for this internship and the uh, eligibility criteria you can see you should have a minimum PhD degree or MBBS or MD degree so this internship is for those who are having a PhD MBBS or MD degree so ultimately no certificate shall be issued in relation to such training at last if you are completing there will be no certificate that will be issued so this is all about the internship opportunity that is available for PhD as well as MBBS or MD students coming to the next next that is Students doctor investigator from Government Institute of Collaborating Center. If you are a student doctor or investigator and you are belonging to the institute uh, that is Government Institute or any of the collaborating centers so that time this training is called as observership training or short term training you can see that will again be a maximum for three years sorry three weeks and still a students investigator if you are belonging to any of the government institute you can join for this program and you need to submit a request by respective guidance teacher that you are joining for this program and you will be on you can say for three weeks in CDFD Hyderabad so you have to take all this consent from where you are working and in this way you can work in this CDFD organization and also there is a summer training for eight weeks so if you are belonging to a you can say if you are a student and if you want to go for internship not for dissertation so again there is a summer training that is for eight weeks so this opportunity is for those students who are still pursuing their msc bsc so those students they can apply for this and here the selection is done on the uh, you can say through indian academy of sciences that is ias and that is allocated to diagnostic division by the cdfs CDFD. Ultimately, your selection will be done through IAS and you will be working in this diagnostic division that is CDFD Hyderabad. So this is the selection criteria. So if you are having MSc or M Pharma degree or B Pharma, BSU, integrated MSc, so you are good to go and apply for this summer training if you want to be a part of training for eight weeks. So this is all about the student opportunity that if you are still pursuing, then you can go. And this second one is from those who are belonging to government institute and this this is for, for those who are belonging to private institute and if you have your minimum PhD degree, MBBS or MD degree. And if you want to know more about all these three training program, internship, what is a short term training, what is this about, what is the second number about and all these things, then you can visit this website that is www.cdft.org.in. That is your, you have to go to under services pages, short term training policy and you will find a PDF there. So you will read everything. You will get to know each and everything regarding all these internships that we have discussed under other internship opportunities so this is all about the internship opportunities dissertation some, some dissertation summer training program short term training observership if any of these opportunity is present in CDFD Hyderabad. So I'm sure those students who really aspire to work in the field of DNA fingerprinting and wanted to uh, explore more things in the field of diagnostics. So they are uh, having a good opportunity in hand. So you can go and apply for the CDFD Hyderabad. So I'm sure the video was highly beneficial for all of you. And if you like the video, do not forget to subscribe to our channel that is by checking up. Meet you back again in the next video. Till next time, this is our host Ria. Thank you everyone. Keep learning all the best.